Should, we go. Where do we, do we have hands like, can I? I'm Haley Oslander. I'm Jordan Ostrowski, and today we have some great stuff to show you. Let's begin with an interview with Mr. Joyce. Thank you for being here today, Mr. Joyce. I have a couple questions to ask you about your job as teacher. In your opinion, what is your favorite part of teaching at HHS? My favorite part of teaching at HHS is uh, the students. Pretty much, you're uh, good to go. And I, I just rough out the, uh, I smooth out the rough edges. Most of you kids know how to do homework. You show up with pencils, pens. You actually want to learn, which makes it very easy here. So what is one thing that your students have taught you throughout your career as a teacher? Ah, oh, this is my favorite one. They teach me, don't forget what it's like to be young. Do you have any interests or hobbies that you do outside of school? Oh, I have tons of interests. I ride my bike quite frequently. I race my bicycle. I play basketball, and I love to hike. If you could add one thing to HHS to make it better, what would it be? More Tim Joyce's as teachers. Thank you for answering the questions, Mr. Joyce, and we hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Thank you for your time, Mr. Joyce. That was very insightful, and we always love to hear from you. Yeah, HHS teachers actually do know a lot. Hi everyone, this is Alex from the Investment Club letting you know about our next stock picking challenge starting next Monday at 9 a.m. If you pick any publicly traded company, the one that has the highest rate of growth next week will win a prize. Um, if you enter $1 and enter your stock through the link at lunches all week or here on the screen, you'll be eligible for that prize. Thank you. I'm going to kill it at the investment challenge. By the way, if you're part of a club, let us know and we'll promote your activities too. Right now, you're thinking, is it worth it? Well, here you go. Hi, I'm Mr. Finn, uh, the mentor for the Hopkinton Diversity Club. And we hold a, a cultural event, uh, movie and um, snacks every Hiller Day morning. And this past Friday, we had our best turnout. It was terrific. Just so happens it occurred right after we had a promo on HHS TV. Coincidence? I think not. Love it, and that's what we live for. My life is complete. You think your life's complete? Just wait till this. It's time for the pizza segment. Sounds good, but does every topping really belong on pizza? Hello HHS, I'm James Wazzy, and today I'm here with my friends Blake and Jack. Hello. Hello. Today we're going to be debating whether or not pineapple should be on pizza. I say no. What do you think, Blake? No. Well, what about you, Jack? Absolutely not. Well, that wasn't much of a debate, so we should ask the rest of the school. No. No. Perhaps. Yes. I've never had it. I've never tried it. Yes. No. 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 I don't mind it. Well, I guess there you have it, folks. Aside from a few outsiders, pineapple does not belong on pizza. It is only good as an underwater house. Now, those are some great responses. I love pineapple on pizza. I thought we were going to eat pizza. Finally, we have an insider scoop on Bee Freeze March Madness. Thursday, tonight, here at the high school, is the Bee Free March Madness handball tournament at 6 p.m., Always a great time, and some people even say it's an art form. I wish I was Troy Bolton so I could participate. Yeah, me too, but you can still go and have fun. Before we go, have you seen this around school? If you have, make sure to email us at hhstv at healers.org for your chance to win a prize. Also, tell us anything you want to see. That's all we have for today, and we thank you for watching us here at HHS Today, and we will see you next time. Yeah, HHS ha actually... Oh. <laughs> I might have to get, well maybe you'll like, I don't know. Investment club, yeah, that's right. Wait, I can't. It's just so funny that you're like, yeah, that's where it's at. Investment club, yeah, that's where it's at. I'm actually really not trying to laugh.